Hi, hello and welcome back. In this video, we are going to see about the daily aptitude day 159 solution. So today's aptitude questions I have taken from the concept of problems on numbers. So we are going to discuss about three questions in detail in this video. So if you are new to this channel and have not subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel for more videos. So let's get into today's topic. So the first question is, a boy was asked to multiply a number by 22. He instead multiplied the number by 44 and got the answer. 308 more than the correct answer. What was the number to be multiplied? We have to identify. So a boy was asked to multiply a number by 22. That number we don't know. We will be taking it as x. So x into 22 you have to do. And that answer what he got is more than uh, 308 more than the correct answer. So in this way we have to form an equation to solve this particular question. So how can we form an equation? Let the required number be x. Okay. And the number what he multiplied is going to be 22x. So 22 into x is going to be the number multiplied. And what was the correct number? Instead he multiplied the number by, he instead multiplied the number by 44. So instead of multiplying it by 22, he multiplied by 44. Okay. So uh, and what answer he has got uh, 308 more than the correct answer. So 44 into x he have to do. But he did 22 into x. But that was more than 308. So 22x plus 308 is equal to 44x. Solving this particular equation for the value of x. You will be getting the value of x as 14. So option D is the correct answer for the first question. And the second question is. In an examination, a student scores 4 marks for every correct answer and loses 1 mark for every wrong answer. If he attempts all 80 questions and secures 120 marks, how many questions that he answer correctly? So, there are 80 questions for every correct answer, 4 marks are awarded and every wrong answer, 1 mark is detected and in total he secures 120 marks. So, you can go by the equation method. You can form two equations and solve that particular sum or else you can follow this method. So, number of correct answers what he answered will be we can take it as x and incorrect answer is going to be 80 minus x. So, total uh, number of questions is 80. If correct is going to be x means remaining questions will be wrong. So, that is going to be 80 minus x. So, marks awarded for uh, the correct answer is going to be 40 uh, sorry 4x minus 80 minus x so 4x minus 80 minus x is going to be correct answer correct answer score minus wrong answer score is equal to 120 the total score so solving this equation for the value of x you will be getting the answer as 40 so option d is the correct answer for the second question and the last question is in a garden 26 trees are planted at equal distances along a yard 300 meters long one tree being at each end of the yard what is the distance between two consecutive trees so the length is going to be 300 meters uh, the start and end position is having a tree and in this 300 meters they are going to plant 26 trees at an equal space of gap so what will be the distance between the two consecutive trees they are asking okay so between 26 trees there are 25 gaps so if you are going to plant trees 26 trees means there will be 25 gaps. So total length is going to be 300 meters. So 300 divided by 25 is going to be 12. So distance between two consecutive trees is going to be 12. So equal distance they are asking so that only we are uh, taking the number of gaps and dividing it by the total number of length. Okay. So 300 divided by 25 is going to be 12. So option C is the correct answer for the last question. So I hope you like this video. If you like this video, please share it with your friends. And if you are new to this channel and now not subscribe my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel for more more videos so see you in the next video until then stay tuned signing off from you bye take care